All right, guys. Today I'm going to go over transplanting your seedlings. When you're doing your seeds in a tray, like so, and you don't have individual cups that they're in, once they get to a certain size, their roots will spread where they're gonna you know, get tangled up with the other roots, and that can be really bad trying to separate them. Um, they've got their third set of leaves right now, so that's a real good time to transplant them. They're somewhat hardy enough to, to now deal with the transplant process, and that'll, that'll also keep them individual. Um, the reason why I did a tray like this is that way I can get a whole bunch of seeds in, and I'm noticing that some of these are doing better than others. That's just kind of normal. Some, some of the seedlings will do better. Um, it just depends on how the light is, is hitting them. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, the ones that aren't, I'm just going to go ahead and discard. You don't really need all of them. Um, now, if you do plan on using them all, don't discard them. But today, I just plan on keeping six of them because that's what's going to fit in my hydroponic system. So, what you're going to need is, obviously, your seedlings. Um, you'll need these little cups to put them in. Some more of the seed starting mix. Um, this is peat moss and uh, it's a peat moss mix um, that has some vermilite in it that helps keep uh, the moisture in. Um, real good for starting seeds. Obviously a spray bottle and what's really good is, is a butter knife. You don't really need a super sharp knife, you just need something to help cut around. Uh, I'm going to start by filling up this with the peat moss mix. Now, if yours has little holes in it, as you can see, I'm, I'm losing some dirt there. Um, sometimes what you can do is put a rock right by one of those holes and that'll help keep uh, the moisture in, or keep the dirt in, but allow for the water to drain out still. Um, so let me go and get a rock, a um, couple rocks. Uh, this one has four holes at the bottom. I'm gonna get a couple rocks and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've got a couple rocks in this one. So, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna fill this up. Now you don't really need to fill it up all the way. As you can see, I've got it only halfway filled. Okay, that's, that's really all you need. And what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to spray that down. With water. Then you're going to go to your plant that you're going to transplant and just cut out a wide area around it. You don't want to go too close because then you'll cut the roots again while you're using a butter knife because if it's a thicker root, that way you won't slice right through it with a sharp knife. And softly pick up the seedling with the dirt and then place it right in, real simple. Now, you're going to want to make sure that it's sitting pretty high. So, I'm going to lift it up a little bit, I'm going to put dirt down, and get it sitting at the right height, just so that way where the dirt is um, of the seedling, you want that roughly around the edge of the cup. Now you just obviously fill up the rest of the cup with dirt. Now, don't put too much, like I did. And then you're gonna compact this a little bit. Push down. And that's it. Now, after you've got it in there at the depth that you want, you're gonna wanna really soak this. Soak this till you see water coming out of the bottom. Now 
when you spray it, you're gonna actually, the dirt will actually, the peat moss mix will actually start compacting a little more. And this is also gonna, gonna help you determine how much moss you put in there. So you wait a few minutes, it's gonna take a couple minutes for it to basically soak through. Um, once you see, as you can, I don't know if you can see there, but I've got a lot of water on the top. It'll take a while for that to actually start soaking down. Um, but once it's soaked down, then you can determine the level of the dirt and see if you need to put a little more. You really want the dirt to be roughly around the same height as where the base of the, of the plant, in this case tomato plant seedling, was in the dirt that you had planted it in originally. So we'll come back to this once it's actually soaked down. Okay, as you can see, the water has soaked down and I've actually got a puddle, little puddle at the bottom. So this uh, is soaked all the way through. Now we're gonna fill up a little more here. Compact that just a little bit. don't want the dirt above where it was when it was growing. Okay, now the dirt on the top is a little dry, so we're gonna do one quick little spray again. Just enough to dampen the top, you don't need to really soak it too much. And that is all set and ready to go. All right, so now as you can see, once they're all transplanted, in this case I transplanted six of them, and that's all I'm gonna use, uh, you can then use the same tray as a drip tray and either put them under a grow light, like I've got, grow light, and or you can put them outside, but I prefer to keep them indoors myself. Um, that's where they're going to be growing down my hydroponic system but as you can see they're nice and happy and I'll keep you updated on how they do